All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, regular expressions, find characters with reluctant matching. All right, just to let y'all know, uh, if you didn't see the last video at the end of it when I was explaining this, uh, if you haven't heard, the programming uh, community is incredibly toxic. It's very toxic. And as an outsider, uh, I'm just going to, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I have no intention on contributing to that kind of stuff. And I know for a fact that if you say stuff like lazy and greedy all the time and act like these are good words, it w maybe it won't contribute 100% to your toxicity, but it will definitely not help. All right. So I'm calling this reluctant and this is going to be eager. Like I'm eager to do that. All right. Very positive. Okay. So let's get into it. So in regular expressions, a well, pardon me. <laughs> An eager match finds the longest possible part of a string that fits the regex pattern and returns it as a match. The alternative is called a reluctant match, which finds the smallest possible part of the string that satisfies the regex pattern, right? So we can apply the regex this right here, which is a T, and then we'll remember this, uh, remember the star from last time, it's zero or more characters that are A through Z, and then an I after that to the string Titanic. Uh, so this regex is basically a pattern that starts with T and ends with I, and it has some letters in between or not, all right? So regular expressions are by default eager. So the match will return Titan I like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. It finds the largest substring possible to fit the pattern. So T, letters between it, and then I. And this is T, pardon me, T with letters between it, and then I right here, right? So however, we can use the question mark character to change it to reluctant matching. Titanic matched against the adjusted regex of T and then the A through Z, zero or, or no match, pardon me, uh, zero or more matches then the reluctant character in I returns TI, which would just be this right here, all right? So note, parsing HTML with regular expressions should be avoided, but pattern matching an HTML string with regular expressions is completely fine. I don't know what that means at all, but thanks for telling us. Uh, so now we're gonna fix the regex where we have the opening angle bracket, a dot, which is the, um, which basically matches any character, and then the also the uh, zero or more, and then also a um, what is that? Another closing a closing angle bracket to return the HTML tag H1 like that, and not the text H1 winter is coming blah blah blah. So remember that the dot or the period in a regular expression matches any character. I'm also not calling it that because I find this to be a ridiculous word. Uh, Anyway, so let's get into this. So we're going to change this line here. All we have to do basically is just what they did up here and put that question mark in right after the star. So we'll just throw a question mark thusly. We'll come down here and say console.log. And we'll say result like that, right? And you see we've got this H1 and this extra stuff that doesn't matter. Uh, usually it doesn't happen like that if, you, if you've done the other ones. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to find one or more. I'm also not saying this because I don't, it's just this whole section, guys, this whole section. It's like this should not be referenced while in a learning environment, guys, because this is, this is the bad stuff. That's the bad stuff. So find one or more tokens. I'll show you why I say that in a hunt. And we'll see you next time.